All right, trick question here. What does a smoke detector and aquarium have to do with each other? <laughs> I just discovered that. You see, here's what I was doing. I did a water change on this little tank, cleaned it up. I did a water change on this little tank to clean it up. And I was just getting ready to top it off. I decided to do a full change on this tank because it looked really grody and I'm bringing it up trying to get it cycled and um, so I just totally drained this tank out and decided just to kind of half fill this one. Well, I miscalculated because see I'm a little bit water short. <laughs> so what happened is I heard the smoke alarm screaming. I ran in here because this started to pump a little bit of uh, air to me and I was like oh I'm close and I always come in you know I have my tank set up on a controller here I always unplug these and I forgot to and you know I'm running ceramic heaters in these tanks and man those things they really put out a lot of power so I come running in here and I've got flames up the side of the tank you can see the soot here coming up with you know, flames up to here. Fortunately, the suction cups had melted and the whole thing fell in, so I don't have any cracks to my glass. Otherwise, I would have lost this 90 gallon tank. So, oh my gosh, what does the heater look like? Besides the fact that it scared the bejeebers out of me, there, I think you can kind of see some of the smoke on the back wall there I have to clean up. Um, I went through and First, move that big rock out and got a scooper and I scooped out about four big scoops of that of rock and uh, put it in a bucket and threw it away and I drained all the water out now. Um, I feel really fortunate because I run everything on power strips and so I immediately came in here and turned that off and I was able to shut off the power without having to touch the heater which might have potentially been shorted out. So it's a good lesson in power strip use. So what happened? <laughs> Look at this guy. I came in and that metal rod was glowing orange red. I mean, it was hot, like five, 600 degrees hot. And you can see there's some plastic here that melted the safety guard and uh, is melted into the rock where it kind of pooled up. Um, I think this heater, ironically, still works. But, um, yeah, that scared me. Um, so, of course, I had to run in. I had to unplug that thing because it wouldn't stop. And, of course, the whole house is being ventilated now. Um, yeah. Wow. So, always check your heaters. That was a close call because, you know, I was definitely on fire, you know. And um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to wash this out with some vinegar um, and then flush it a couple times to detox it. I was cycling it, getting ready to, to put some fish that I want to quarantine in here. Um, but that's all right. I've got other tanks I can use. So, yeah. Wow. That's way too exciting for my blood these days. Um, so I felt a little bit better and I was like, well, I want to do a water change. Anyway, um, yeah, these guys look clear and they'll start looking better. And then um, I'm going to just bring in some cold water from outside. And uh, it'll bring the temperature down a little bit on these guys, but it won't be bad. The heaters will recover pretty quickly. Um, that's one of the reasons I like those ceramic heaters on these big tanks is that they're really capable of putting out power. I mean, they're really strong. So, <laughs> lesson learned. If you're going to move water, make certain that your heaters are disconnected so you don't have a house fire. Um, yeah, because that, I don't know if it would have spread. It would have broken the tank and eventually the plastic would have burned. Um, but it could have gotten into that back strip plastic and then started burning up the wall. And um, that 
could have been really ugly because this plastic would add a lot of fuel and that light cover would start to melt and contribute to fuel. So I guess this is kind of a lesson about how to take these things a little more seriously because um, you could potentially lose your house um, or maybe your life, you know, on this. So, yeah, um, be careful moving water around. <laughs> Don't do what I did. That's a pretty big fire in the back of the tank there. I mean, it just...